Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I want to give you an update on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I've been using it for about 48 hours now and it's time for an update. But before I get into this video, check this out. Okay everyone, so I'm back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I've been using the Galaxy S24 Ultra for the last 48 hours. And I wanna give y'all an update on my experiences with the device so far. I'm gonna go over things like the display, the build quality, battery life, cameras, also the AI features on here, maybe even, you know, the performance on here. But just give y'all my updated experience. Now, it's only been 48 hours, we'll some things come up that I don't like about it, probably so. Will some things improve over time? Yes, I will have this phone for a while and I will come back and update y'all like I do normally with my videos that I make. Again, if you have this phone or if you're looking to pick it up, let me know what color you have and what size, you know, storage you got. But let's get into it. It is a big phone for sure. If you have small hands, it may not be for you, but Let's talk about the display. You have a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED panel here with the 2600 nits of brightness. I was filming today, I had no issues seeing this screen and this display in the middle of a Texas sun, so no issues there. The 120 hertz refresh rate, I know it's not there constantly, but it runs smooth and there's no hiccups. You can go to Twitter and scroll and there's no really small hiccups anymore. It's a beautiful panel. Watching YouTube, Netflix on here, you, doesn't, you don't have any issues. Along with the speakers on here, they sound good. You have dual speakers, so you get great sounds from the speakers watching it. So the display has been good. Samsung is known for the displays and I love the flat panel. So that takes away all the accidental touches and it gives you more real estate to use. And it's just a great feeling. And you can get multiple different type of screen protectors on here. So I love the flat panel on here. That, that was probably one of the biggest things too, is just the flat panel on there. So they definitely have improved on that display. The build quality is top notch. This, I mean, you're paying a lot of money so for the display and the build, you are hoping that you get, you know, what you pay for, and you actually do. The titanium sides here with the uh, the display here, you know, I think it's what, Victus, oh no, not Victus, it's Armor. It's Armor glass on here, plus the titanium and the back, which is, uh, I think, Victus maybe. Not sure, I have to look that one up too. Everything feels premium in the hands, y'all. It really does. There's no problem. I love the titanium size. I love this yellow and then this it has like a gold tint to it And it just rocks man. I love it. Even the little lenses there Has like a little gold tint to it and I love the build quality of this the flat display and then the boxy feel in here, too the build quality is a one and again, that's what you expect when you buying this phone shout out to Michigan Shout out to Coach Moore, taking over Harbor's job. So I, I love the build quality on here. Haven't had any issues yet with the build quality. The only thing I can say is that the phone is slippery. Get a case for it because it will, you might drop this case. Because, I mean, you may drop the phone because how slippery it is. Battery life seems really good. I think I'm at like, let's see. Let's go to battery real quick. I really don't look at my battery size. Can I get through the day without without charging it? And yes, I can. It says um, battery usage is at 63% and I have four hours of screen on time and I have 42% battery life left. So I'll probably get like eight hours of screen on time, but it's already eight o'clock at night and I have 40%. So I probably can get through a day, day and a half. I took this off at like six o'clock in the morning. So... I definitely can get a day, probably a day and a half if I push it. I love the battery life. I think the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor 
with the Android 14 is making a battery beast. Now, not something will it change with, you know, when it learns me a little bit more, will it get better? Will it get worse with more time? That's where these longer reviews come in play. And that's why I like to keep these phones for a couple months now. So stay tuned. I will have more updates with the battery life. All right, let's keep this video going. I want to talk about the cameras next on here. I think the quad setup that you have here is amazing so far. I think the 4K60 video that I shot earlier, and you can watch that video now. It's live on the channel. And it is as good as or if not better than the iPhone uh, videos. I know it. I know a lot of iPhone people are going to come after me, but I think this 4K 60, you can use this phone to make videos for your YouTube channel and no one would tell you any different that you don't have, you know, a pretty good camera using this. So I know a lot of creators out there actually use their cell phones and they use like the S23 Ultra. So you can use the S24 Ultra and make great videos for your videos on YouTube and no one would tell you any different. That's how good that the 4K 60 video looked. I also shot some 4K at 30. I still need to upload that. The 8K footage seems really good too. I took uh, some 8K video, so stay tuned to that too. I'm, I'm going to have that video coming out. So the camera seemed good. I might put some photos I shot earlier today too on the channel and in this video. So stay tuned for that at the end of this video. The overall performance with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor and everything else that it has on here, the Android 14 and what, One UI 6.1 or 6.0 has been smooth. The performance on here has been good. Gaming on here has been really good. Stay tuned, I'm trying to work on a gaming review also. There's so many videos to make on this phone. So stay tuned. I am enjoying the performance on this phone too. And then the last thing that I really want to talk about is the AI. I haven't dug into the AI features a lot on this phone yet. I'm not really an AI guy, so I don't, I don't use Translate very much. Maybe I should because... We do have, in Texas, we do have a lot of Spanish-speaking folks here. And it probably could actually help me out. So stay tuned. Maybe I can use that and translate and maybe get that on video too. Maybe that will actually help me out and communicate some. I've been here, what, like 15, 18 years. And I can't really say, what, como, como estas or something like that and movie be in. But that, that is about all I have in my Spanish language there. So... I can't wait to use it and communicate with folks better here in Texas. So, but the AI features I haven't really dug into too much, but I'm gonna try to sit down and actually do that also. But so overall, just to recap, the last 48 hours have been really good with this phone. I'm enjoying it. Will it change? Who knows? Also, like I said, the build quality is great on here. Stay tuned to the channel. Y'all let me know what y'all wanna see from me on this video, I mean, on this phone. I've been doing case videos. I'm going to do updates like this. I have tips and tricks coming soon. But y'all let me know what other videos you want to see. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I don't know what you're doing, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, follow me on Twitter for some fun over there at Forrest Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. Until next video, y'all, I'm out. Peace. Y'all have a great weekend. Enjoy the rest of y'all day.